Hello, Mimi here, and I have got a new journal that I just finished, and I absolutely love the way this journal has turned out. Um, my theme on this journal is going to be called Vintage Paris Rose. Um, as you can see, I have put uh, material here on the front and have vintaged it up and gone over it with um, some Mod Podge to really, you know, stiffen it up, make it um, real stiff. I think I used a, some kind of like cereal box. I'm not, sh I think it was a taco box on this to actually make this um, beautiful journal. And uh, this, um, oh gosh, I don't even know the size of it. I feel terrible, but I don't. Um, I'll have it in, in my description on my, in my Etsy shop because I am going to have this for sale in my Etsy store. Uh, this is the same size as I've been doing. Let me get my ruler out so I can measure that right quick. It is nearly five inches by nine inches or eight and a three fourths. And the spine is about a two inch spine. So I have put Sari Silk here. This is the big two inch Sari Silk. Um, I have put uh, this beautiful uh, tassel on the, the side of it. You can see the tassel uh, and have added some bling to it. I've got some little dangles that I just made. Learned how to do that the other day. So excited that I finally learned how to make them. Watch some videos on it. And got a little, um, oh, it's not a paper clip, but like a fastener here. And have added a little pearl dangle on it. It's just a little, little card uh, that you could write on it. But this is really turned out so pretty. I love the colors of this. One of my absolute favorites when it comes to junk journals to do. And um, I just love it. It's got three signatures in it. They are sewn in. This is the size of kind of a traveler's notebook, and that's the what the journal kit that I used is, is a traveler's notebook, but I sewed it in because I kind of like that little technique better. Here's one of my popsicle sticks that I added to it. A pocket here that I sewed on, got some lovely lace to go with it. Here's a real cute little book I made up. Some beautiful ephemera. This kind of come, this is a bow bunny that I used a lot of the um, scrapbook paper that I used. Um, and I did tea dye my scrapbook paper, sewed on this beautiful lace. And love the way this all turned out. Got a lot of space for journaling. Did some stamping um, on my pages in that beautiful um i think it's i'll have to put it in the description i can't never pronounce her name it starts with an e um the digital kit that i used this right here is something that i made recently and did a little um tutorial on it it's a cupcake holder that i fixed up and made an embellishment out of and i had in mind whenever i made that one that i was going to put it in this journal some bunch of journaling pages to write on um so this page, this book is just full of all kinds of goodies. This is a beautiful little, um, I made this up using a couple of index cards and that beautiful lady and just put some uh, little embellishment down there at the bottom. I thought it turned out so cute. And I've been seeing a lot of people take these envelopes. So, you know, when you see people doing it, you gotta try it yourself. So I, I put, I had two pink envelopes and I made up these two here, and they have like two pockets, and I've got some little stuff in tucked into them. Cute little stuff here. Put some lace on it. Um, I thought they turned out cute. You know, uh, I, I thought it turned out pretty good, so I really like, I like that technique. It's just another way to take envelopes and use them in a different way, and I love doing that. This paper here I got from Tuesday morning. I've got some little tassels, I mean, uh, little dangles down here on my signatures. And there's another little pocket I sewed on. 
More little loveliness there. I love this paper right here. I think it's so pretty. And this is um, Rodet Roses. Um, Perry Joseph Rodet, um, he must uh, really love painting roses because a lot of my pictures are um, pictures that he has painted and, and I have got the kit little printouts from Miss Cog's Crafts. Love that picture right there. And I was so in, uh, just inspired when I bought this bow bunnies. I think I got it at Tuesday morning and I just thought it was so pretty. I love the colors. And I did a lot of, put a lot of lace on it. You know, like I said, I laced it up real cute. I love the greens and the pinks together. I made this uh, little book here. This is a some paper that I got recently from a lady called CJ Christopher that she does an excellent job on coffee staining those up. I don't know how she does it with some kind of lace or dualies or something. I'm not sure how she does it, but I love the technique. I think it's so pretty. Here's, I made a little button holder up and just backed it with a file, file, uh, manila folder. I thought that turned out really cute. Like I said, I did a lot of stamping on here and added extra paper to write with. So, and this is just daily stuff that you could use. This right here is something I made up when I was making the uh, cover. It's some more of the fabric that I used and I just kind of added some, some mesh here, put that lady on there and it's just a place in the back. It's made out of a manila folder that you could uh, write on so or you could use it in a different project This is really cute. I like the way that turned out. I did this little embellishment here and added this little lace down at the bottom and ribbons and stuff and I thought it was so cute. I love that little collage Add some little ta uh, tabs up here That's so that's a pretty picture too on the kit F four, I can't think of, I can't say that lady's name. Ah. Oh, there goes my poster board. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me just flop it down that way. My poster board is getting where it's not wanting to stay up anymore. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to go buy me a new one. It's flopping on me. I made these little folders here too, um, and I made them myself and just cut them out and put little sewed on the sides and stuff, so they turned out cute. And put a little lace there, a little more little fun stuff I used there. And I did, was inspired by um, Hermelinda. Her husband actually showed us how we can use our, um, I made this up right here. Used, uh, oh my gosh, I have to think of the name of, I'll just get it out and show it to y'all, but. Her husband must really help her a bunch doing her crafts. And it's your, your cutout, an eight cutout, if you have one of these. Hermelinda Aguilera, I think that's her last name. She has a little, dig, uh, little tutorial, just a small tutorial. It didn't take very long, but these turned out so cute. I love the way these, these came out. And you can make them up two or three different ways. And she's been doing a couple of tutorials lately, and so check her out because she inspired me to make those. And I thought they turned out super cute. More fun ephemera. And a little pocket there I sewed on. Love this page here. I love collaged pages. I think they're so pretty. All my pages I did tea dye. This picture is one of my favorites. I absolutely love that, and I thought it looked good in here because of the colors. And these little angels here, aren't those cute? And this little tag really turned out pretty. I love the blacks and the rose colors. And this book belongs to, I did a little lace on the bottom and added a little rosette and stuff. Oh, that's so cute. That's more of that Miss Cog's Crafts. Here's another thing Hermelinda showed the other day, uh, making this uh, your the three tag uh, fold out and I put the stamp on the inside but that I thought that was really a neat little thing that she showed how to do very easy to do and here's some more little 
things I put on the bottom. And this turned out so cute. I love this. I bought some layaway tags from somebody. I can't remember who. And these are just some things I stuck down in here. But I actually sewed this on there. This picture of this girl with this doily and all this little yumminess down there. It didn't Okay, I am back. My husband called me, so I had to stop and answer the phone. Um, it never fails when I get to, I film, somebody calls me. And anyway, uh, this is a cute little picture I put on here, part of that Miss Cox Crafts, and just got, I love the way this came, put the little round circles on there, and it's got a little pocket right there. I put that little uh, bouquet of flowers in there. And another little picture that Miss came with the kit of Miss Cox Crafts, the Rosette, um, Rode Roses. And let me see if I can bring this in a little closer. And let's see, I got some pictures here. Oh, uh, this um, Jenny, I can't think of her last name, but she, anyway, I bought some um, these from her. They're so cute, I loved them. Love this picture of this little girl with the roses. And this is just a scrapbook paper that you can do some journaling on. And on the back side here, I have another pocket that I put and um, added lace there and some, this is some really pretty pay, um, material that I had bought that has come, came in strips. Um, and here's some more beautiful uh, the ladies and the roses and stuff. So anyway, this will be for sale in my Etsy store. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I do appreciate all your lovely comments. Um, so check it out, um, Mimi's Crafty Shop, and y'all have a blessed day.